So, hi everyone. This is me, Chim, C H I M, and I am from the channel Chim Chim TV. And today I'm gonna introduce you my sub channel. This is a Chim sneaker, which I have a YouTube channel to reviews about some of the sneaker that I own. And I think it's kind of funny because it is very interesting to have like a channel uh, to store about my hobby so that I can look back and see which pair of nickel that I used to own or I'm owning. So today, this is the first ever episode and I'm gonna introduce you guys three of my new babies. First one is uh, the Van Error, the Van Authentic and the Van Authentic 44DX. And the reason why I bring all of the three shoes into one video is because they are, have something in common. That, that means that they are, have the checkerboard style. So we might see some minor differences that you are very um, difficult to see in the real photos of the sneaker. So let's have a look. So first I will start with the Van Era first. Okay. So this is our baby Van Error and I have this model in the 7.5 size. Yeah, and this is the full box model with a bag as you can see and the shoe. Uh which something which actually very funny because in Vietnam the price of a pair of shoes is very, very, very. Okay, so let's have a look at the Van Error. Okay, here it is. So, this is the tour box, and this is the shoes, and the also. Let's have a closer look. And here is the hue. Yes, this is the era baby, and you can see that uh, the van shoe actually coming without the lace. It I mean that they usually hide the lace under the shoe, which is a signal that it is completely new. And if sometimes when you when you buy the boxes and you open it out and you see that the lace is already in, that means that someone have already tried the shoes on. Okay, so this is the era baby. Yes, and the second one is the this authentic. So let's have a comparison between the two shoes. Yes, we also have another uh, box and another uh, bag. Yeah, and this is the Van Authentic. And these two shoes are bought about directly from the Vietnamese uh, store. So they are 100% legitimate. And you know that um, these shoes are actually have the retail price at around uh, 65 to 75 USD. But in Vietnam, because we are literally one of the shoe manufacturing country so there's a lot of discount happen and you can actually got a pair of uh, legit next sticker with uh, like a ride of discount of like 50% which is really good for some sneaker collector like me <laughs> because the actual retail ride for me is kind of high okay so let's see the differences First, you can see that uh, at this part of the shoe, it has a black color and this has a white color. And the second thing is that you can notice that there are cushions in this part of the uh, authentic, uh, of the era, of the shoe van era. There is some cushion at the heel, but this one, no cushion. You will see, even though they are the same price, but I think this model it look kind of um, more interesting.
And the second part is like the way that they form the shoe up. Like you can see at this part, this is the whole pieces. But at this one, you can see that uh, they use uh, to join. Like this is actually one whole piece also, but because it contains the cushion layer, so there will be some extra laces in this part. And and the other thing you can see is that uh, this one, the heel, the heel of this one, it is attacked inside, so there is an inside layer. But uh, the out also is just like the outside of the shoe is just like one, pe uh, one uh, pieces with some extra uh, light. But in this shoe, there is actually an extra pieces of fabric here, so it looks a little bit more complicated. But I think this shoe is far more comfy than this one. And they are come, both come at the same prices, the same price range. Okay, so let's check, have, have a check out at the 4040X model. 40X model, I have in size 8.5. And I think 8.5 is one of the most common size for the shoe. So you can. In the discount option, it is rarely to see the size because you know that uh, it is sell very quickly and very easy. So it is very rare to have this size of the shoe in a discount. But luckily, I ha I got one here. So let's check out the difference. Like put the era aside. Let's check out this difference with the uh, authentic golden era, golden. Golden Coast. Okay, so this one is the Golden Coast, and this one is the uh, 4040X. So the first thing that you can notice immediately that the range around the uh, bottleneck, yeah, like this, is the same material as the other part of the shoe whether this is like a black, a black line and the second thing I think that uh, most significant is like the like the missile it's either missile like this one is a, uh, a novel material is other than missile but this one you can see it has some kind of polished material so this one feel a little bit more uh, complex, more polished as eh, eh, you see. So I think comparing the material, you can see that this one may be easier to get dirty, while this one is easier. It can get dirty easy too, but it is easier to clean. So that is the main reason why it is the main, main differences between the two shoes. And other part is just like the same because you know that uh, they are from the same model. Ah, and the second thing I can see is that this shoe is kind of more up, uh, turn more into yellow, like more into the ivory color, the off white color. Why this one is a little bit whiter? Yeah, that's it. And so today we already have three different pair of Van shoe. So, which one do you think is the best for its price? What is your opinion? And I hope to see you in the new videos and I will try to improve my English a little bit more because you know that I'm a modern in Vietnamese so uh, my English is kinda terrible but I'm trying to practice through reviewing the video for you guys. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye bye.